in the camera's line. This shoots a little flat point and it can be used to hold the uh, to hold the back in. Now that's not a bendy point, that's just a stiff point. And they take a little strip inside this gun, the way you, you pull the piece up, pivot it, and inside there is a small cartridge load of um, points. Now these are not the bendable type, it's a stiff point. But that is one of the most popular tools. And yes. this is just a little organizer. So up in the top we've got uh, turn buttons and various other little points and things that we use for fitting. So little things like, like these turn buttons. We have various D-rings, like big strap hangers. So for large hanging pieces, we have um, little D-rings that we use and cut uh, squarely with. And so we use this, this large Bakelite square. It's very accurate. For other framing operation, you might actually want a small set square. It's kind of another squaring device. But with this uh, large hopefully, square, hopefully I'll just I'll try and move my, my computer a bit so I can see it too. So this is one of the more so mitre guillotines. So little, little serial number up on the top, here, down on the bottom, more so. Now, more so was the first company in Denmark to make or invent the mitre guillotine. Now, there's another, there was another company called Jiden, which is another Danish company, which was about 100 kilometres away from this one. And they both, the 20 mil or the double scale, so again, if I wanted to cut something 200 mil on the inside, instead of using the zero on the 200, which would be the external, I'd be using the 20 mil on the 200, and we'd set it up like so. So then your moulding would sit in underneath. We'd come through, we'd cut our moulding, clamp it in place, and then there's a, a setting in this tool here where we can either cut uh, cut, glass, score, plastic, or um, cut all the way through, so a knife. Simply push the head through, and we're going to cut uh, a piece of foam, just like so. So we've got